Hey guys, it's Kat and I am back today to do a lip swatch video. So this is going to be on the full range of Kaleidos lip products. So I have done Kaleidos reviews of uh, eyeshadow palettes and highlighters. Last year they did bring out their first six lip products and um, in January they brought out two reds. Um, I have them all. I was lucky enough to be sent them all. So um, I have been trying these ones for a couple of months now and um, I've only used one of the red ones. But I want to do a lip swatch video of all of them and then sort of tell you what I think about these products. So let's just talk about the different formulas first. So we have lip tonics, which are matte liquid lipsticks. Uh, the first three that came out are sort of nude-ish shades. So we have injection, immersion, and infusion. So um, there is more of a sort of orangey nude, a mauvey nude, and true nude, pinky nude, something like that. I will swatch them so we can see the differences, but we'll see the differences on the lips as well. Now with these ones, these are more like blotted lips. So they're not supposed to be that really opaque, bold um, matte lip. They're supposed to be more of a muted matte lip, which I actually really like these. I think these are really fun. I think they're a little bit more fresh. If you don't like that really bold look, but you want some color on your lips, but you like that matte finish, I actually really like these. Along with those, they did release their uh, Lucid Lips. So these are the lip glosses. Um, we've got one shade, which is Mesmerized. This is the only shade in the range that has uh, no shimmer in it. So it's more of that sort of cream mauvey color, which I really do like. These are very sort of high shine. And then we have two sort of sparkly ones. So I'll do close-ups of these so you can see what I'm talking about. But Fantasize is this sort of orangey one with gold and pink sort of duochrominess to it. It's got a translucent base, but it does have like sparkle in it. And then there's a blue one, which um, has a bit of, I don't know, purple iridescence to it as well. So this is the shade Crystallize. Now, before I talk about the two newest ones, I do want to mention the packaging because the packaging is very unusual. So they come in these sort of um, pyramid type boxes. Um, you take this off and it opens up, which is I think it's a little bit unnecessary. Like it's good that it's cardboard so you can recycle it, but I just feel like it's a little bit, a bit much. So the matte lip products and the lip glosses, they do have different designs, but the same sort of vibe. And then the red shades that only recently came out um, have more of a Chinese New Year design to it because they were released around Chinese New Year. So I actually have one in here to show you. Um, so you take off this. It's, it's very strange. It's, and it's in there. Like it's, it's unusual. It's an unusual packaging design. I, not my cup of tea. All right. So these are the two reds that have recently been released. So we have the shade collision, which is the one I haven't actually used. This is a metallic red, which, um, I don't love metallic lips. I'm curious to see how this looks because I think the tone is really, really beautiful. Um, but I have tried a couple of times Ambition, which is more of your matte sort of, um, I'd call this a true red. It's not an orange tone red. It's not, it is probably slightly more blue toned, but it's quite a bright red um, and it, it, it's quite vibrant on the lips. So those are the two new ones that have recently come out. So even though these are in the same sort of lip tonic range, uh, there are differences between these original three nudes and these two reds. So of course, one is metallic, that's a difference. Um, but these are a lot more sheer and these are a lot more pigmented. So uh, whereas these give that sort of, yeah, that blotted effect on the lip, these are more of your traditional um, liquid lipsticks that are quite opaque on the lips. Those are the differences between those. So let's start with the lip glosses because they're easiest to remove. So this is the shade Mesmerized. It's my favorite one that I've used and the, the one that I mainly reach for because these sort of sparkly ones aren't really my cup of tea. So they do have doe foot applicators. They're sort of like a curved doe foot, if you can see. Um, but you can see this is like a cool tone mauve. It is quite sheer, but there's a bit of color and it's very, very shiny. All right, lip time. All right, I decided to zoom in so you can see a little bit more, but it is sort of that mauve shade. It's very shiny. You can see your lips through it. So I do like the look of this and it's not a sticky formula. So um, even though it glides on, it doesn't look like it's um, patchy or anything. It is a very sort of wet, sort of almost slippery formula. So it's not 
sticky, which is great. Of course, your hair will stick to it if your hair is out because it's very high shine. Um, I like the amount of color. I like, yeah, how easy it was to apply. The one thing I don't like about these is that they are fragranced, which, I don't know, it's just like a weird artificial sort of semi-sweet fragrance. But when you first put this on, I feel like you can taste the fragrance. So it's a bit of a deterrent for me using this. I like the effect of it and I'm happy to use it. It's very comfortable. But I get this sort of sensation in my mouth where I'm just like, I can taste chemicals, which is a bit weird and I don't like. So yeah, it is a deterrent for me. All right, onto the shade Fantasize, which is that sort of peachy shade with a bit of gold and a bit of pink uh, shimmer in it. So um, this is, if you like, a really sparkly lip. Like it doesn't translate too much on the lip as like chunky sparkle, but it is a little bit, yeah, it is a bit sparkly. You could also layer it over things. This is your jam, go for it. Let's see how it looks. I have used this one, but I haven't used it too many times. Yeah. All right, so this one, you know, it's pretty, but it's not my cup of tea. So it sort of looks on the lips like it's a clear gloss with, and all I can really see is um, the pink sort of shimmer catching the light. In the swatch, there is some more nuance to it. Um, it does have pink shimmer, but it's also got sort of peachy shimmer in one light. It sort of reflects a little bit gold. Um, but on the lips, I can just see clear gloss with um, pink sparkles. So if that's your cup of tea, go for it. Not really my cup of tea, but um, yeah, there we go. Sparkle does stick around as well, but uh, let's get on to the next sparkly ones. This is crystallized. So this is more of that uh, blue with, um, I think it's more like purpley sparkle, but we'll have a look. So um, yeah, so it looks a lot more, whereas the middle one looks sort of peachy with a, you know, pink and gold sort of iridescence to it. This looks clear with uh, blue and purple iridescence to it. So it's a little bit more, um, probably a little bit less color, but we'll see what it looks like on the lips. Oh, the blue is strong. So hopefully you can see on the lips there, you can mainly just see the blue iridescent sparkle, which catches a light on camera a lot more than the pink did. Um, but it does also look like a clear base just with a lot of blue shimmer. So this is definitely probably my least favorite because I don't really like the sort of um, frosty blue lips. But if you do like it, there's one for you. I might zoom in so you can hopefully see what I'm talking about because I know I can see it a lot more in person but on camera it's sort of hard to capture. I'm not sure if you can see it too much there but there's a lot of blue sort of sparkle going on. So again these aren't my all-time favorites. Uh, the one I reach for the most is definitely this one. I really like the look of this. The thing I don't like is that sort of weird um, fragrancy taste. So um, there's that but I do really like the look of this. The things I do really like and that I've reached for the most are these nude lip tonics and I really do like all shades. So let's start with um, Immersion which is that sort of mauve color. So you can see when I swatch it 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 will look a little bit streaky because it's not an opaque product, but I really like that about this. This also has that same scent, but I don't think it lingers in the mouth as much. We'll see, I need to jog my memory. All right, I got some glitter left over, but it is what it is. So it goes on really thin. But it does look even, it doesn't look patchy on the lips. So hopefully you can see what I mean by it being a little bit more sheer than your average liquid lipstick. Um, I can see my lips through this. It's nice, a really, really thin, almost watery consistency where um, it doesn't feel heavy at all. These aren't long wearing because, well, they do wear fairly long, but if you do eat and drink, they're gonna disappear. But the good thing about them is that they're so easy to retouch because they're not heavy on the lips. You can just, you know, put a wash of color over it again and it looks really great. Also, they fade down really naturally because you don't have that distinction between really bold color on the lips and then um, no lip product. It, since it is a sort of sheer color, um, it fades down really nicely. And you can see that if you just press your lips together a few times, like I just did, this does sort of go more of that matte finish that it does dry down to, so it doesn't have a sheen. Again, it looks more like a blotted lip rather than 
um, you know, a creamy lipstick or a really bold, dry lipstick. It's sort of that blotted effect, which I think is really, really pretty. So I really like these products. All right, let's go on to the more nudie color. So this is Infusion. So uh, let's give it a quick swatch here. It's more of a true nude. So again, really, really thin um, and does look a little bit streaky on the hand, but looks quite nice on the lips and is more of a like, my lips but better, so there we go. It's a bit of a peachy tone. It really does look like my lips, but a bit more perfected. So again, just a really nice soft color. This is the true sort of nude out of the three. Um, really easy to apply, really thin. And again, press your lips together a couple of times or just wait for it to dry and it fades down to more of that Matte finish, I really like these. These are probably my favorite out of everything here. It's like if you like that sheer sort of perfected look, but you like more of a matte finish, these are really great. Um, and they're quite unique to what I have in my collection. All right, last one from this range, we have Injection, which I really like this color as well. It's more of a sort of orangey tone, um, which is kind of fun. So there we go. They, they're all nude, but they are all very wearable shades. So again, I really love that color. I think it's just a nice warmer version. So if I had more of a bronzy gold eye, this is a really beautiful one or just a nude eye and you want something a little bit warmer. Um, this is sort of like a good summer one for me. I would say this one is more of a winter vibe and that's an all year round vibe. So this is even like a bit of a fall vibe. So these are just like my lips, but better. And I really like these. I reach for these the most. Um, and I just think that they, yeah, they just feel really comfortable. They're the type of lip product that looks really flattering and really fresh but also at the same time you don't need to babysit it because it does fade down quite naturally if you've had a you know been eating lunch or something and you look back and you're like oh my lip products removed you just put it back on with no problem so I really do love these I think also because they have that almost blotted effect they make your lips look really plump so they have that sort of um uh defining sort of feature of a liquid lipstick but without the sort of discomfort and hassle and boldness of it. So I really, yeah, I really dig these. All right, now onto the red. So these are the latest releases and I'm gonna swatch them alongside these so you can compare how pigmented they are. Um, so I wanna start with the metallic one, which is Collision. You can see that it's got a bit of a metallic shift to it in the tube. And it is quite a dark red, um, but it is very, very pretty. So you can see that there is bold pigment here, whereas there is subtle pigment here, which I think is really smart because I don't like sheer reds. I think they look a bit weird on the lips. They look a little bit incomplete. They look a little bit faded down. So I think it's really smart that they've gone the bolder reds and the softer nudes. So that's really cool. So let's apply this one. This is the one that I haven't used yet out of everything here. So um, we'll see how the metallic red goes. It's actually very pretty. All right, so that's a gorgeous shade. I think that's undeniably gorgeous. It's a very bold look. Um, you can see that the metallic finish gives it a really interesting dimension to the lips. Um, not a red that I would wear on a daily basis because I think it is quite a statement lip, but at, at night or something with just a simple eye and a wing liner, this would be absolutely gorgeous. So metallic lips aren't my favorite finish, but the one sort of color that I do find them quite pretty in is a red. So I think they've nailed it with this color. I think it's also a really smart move to release it around Chinese New Year because it's a gorgeous lip. And if you're going out, why not wear it? Um, so I really do think this is gorgeous. Again, not something I would wear every day and I am happy to wear reds on a daily basis, but this is a really beautiful statement red if you're going out and just wanted something a bit more like impactful on the lips and a little bit more dimension. This is really gorgeous. It is quite lightweight. I do feel like you need to put a little bit more effort and a little bit more product on the lips than these guys because these you can just put a really sheer uh, wash over, whereas this you do want to get it a bit more precise. And um, there were some areas where, you know, if you the wand was getting a little bit um, dry of product, you have to sort of 
go back and layer it a little bit to get the bold effect, but it is really, really pretty. All right, we're back with the last shade and I had to just touch up my makeup around my mouth a little bit because I took too much off. Uh, this is the shade Ambition. So this is the matte red that is just like a flat shade. It's not um, a metallic. And it is, once again, very, very opaque. You can see that it's a little bit brighter than the red. So I would say this is more of your sort of vampy, deeper red. This is slightly more bright. I really like this. I've used this before a couple of times. I know how it wears, so I'll tell you, but let's put it on first. All right, what I like about this is because it is quite, quite thin. It actually looks like quite a dark shade, but when you do blend it out, it almost intensifies to a sort of cherry red. So because it is quite thin, if you put a really thin layer on, it's sort of more vibrant, but if you put another layer on, it will actually darken it a bit. So you get an even color pigmentation, but it's not super opaque, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't blank out the lid completely, but it covers it with enough pigment that it looks really, really bold on the lips. One thing I also noticed about the liquid lipsticks, and this goes for the nudes as well, is the doe foot applicator is shorter. It's less like long and uh, pointed. So I think the lip glosses are designed to sort of sweep on really easily, whereas these are a little bit shorter. Um, and uh, I think they're supposed to be more so you can precisely apply them. So I'm not too sure if you can see the change there, but like this one is like at least a third longer and it's more curved, whereas this is a little bit more stubbier. And um, yeah, I think it's just yeah for more precise application. All right, so I classify this as a pretty classic bright red. Technically, I would say it's more cool toned than it is warm toned. So it's a little bit more um, pink tones than, or blue tones than it is sort of yellow orange tones. But I think because it is so vibrant on the, on the lips, it almost looks like a neutral red. So this would suit a lot of people. I think it's gorgeous. You know, there is some effort to apply it versus the nudes. Again, you need to get a little bit more precise, but it is nice and thin. It doesn't dry down to like a, like a crumbly mess. There is a little bit of moisture in it, which is really, really nice. Um, and I can tell you from wearing this, this wears really nicely throughout the day. Of course, if you eat, it might fade down a little bit, but it doesn't like flake off or um, fade down in a really horrible way. Again, this formula is very, very thin, so it's so easy to go in later and just touch it up a little bit if you need to, but it wears surprisingly well. So it's a really beautiful uh, red liquid lipstick. All right, so after swatching all of these and trying a number of them for um, quite some time, I thought I'll just let you know what I think about them. So my least favorite items in the range are definitely the Lucid Lips. So these are the lip glosses. Now, um, Okay, so for me and what I like to wear on a daily basis, the mauve is the one that I like the look of the most. Um, I don't mind a bit of shimmer in a lip gloss, but I find that these, when they're just sort of pink sparkle or blue sparkle, it's not really my jam. If this is your jam, you'll really enjoy it. Um, but the thing that also puts me off about these is the sort of um, taste it leaves in your mouth, which is really strange because these all have a sort of similar fragrance, but these are the ones that... I sort of can feel a residue or something in my mouth. I don't know what it is. So I would really like to see them take the scent out of this or change the scent up or address that sort of weird taste that they have. Um, but otherwise they look really pretty on the lips. They give a nice um, sort of shine to the lips. They're not sticky and heavy. So I do like the effect of them. Runner up to my favorite items would have to be the red liquid lipsticks. So um, I would definitely get more use out of this red. So the one that's the uh, sort of flat color, not the metallic. I think it's a gorgeous sort of vibrant red, but Admittedly, I do have longer wearing reds in my collection. So even though I do really like this and I will keep reaching for it. And I think for 14 US dollars, this is a pretty decent price point. Um, it's not my all time favorite red, if that makes sense. When it comes to the metallic, I think this is gorgeous as well. Um, I haven't tested how long it wears, so we'll have to see about that. I also like that you can probably mix the two, so dab a little bit of the metallic over the top if you wanted to. Um, but this is definitely something I would reach for more when I want to make a really, really big statement. Um, I can imagine like if you're going to like a, I don't know, dress up party and you'd, you're wanting to look really sort of um, bold, I think this is a really cool color to use. 
but it's not a sort of finish that I would tend to wear on a daily basis. It's more like a, I'm making a statement about my lips. So I do think these are fun and I think they're really nice. Um, but I have to say my all time favorite products from this range are the nudes. So these are the nude lip tonics. I think these are really, really great. Um, I think these are the type of things that you can chuck in your handbag and you get a my lips but better effect. I think it's a lot more toned down than the trends that are happening over the last couple of um, years in the Western cultures anyway. This is a Chinese brand, so they will be focusing a lot more on sort of Asian trends, which these sort of blotted, muted lips are really popular. And I really dig these. I think these are really comfortable to wear. They're easy to apply. You can literally just apply them in the car park. It, it's going to make your lips look just a little bit more fresh, a little bit more put together without feeling heavy, without being too bold. Um, without having to babysit it and worry about it sort of fading down throughout the day. You can just go in the bathroom and go, oh, it faded off. Let's put a little bit more on. I like the colors. The mauve is gorgeous for cooler tone looks. Um, the orangey tone one is beautiful for warmer looks. And then you have your more traditional nude, which you know, is good for every look. So these are actually my most used products in this range. And I would have to say that in my collection, they're the most unique and um, the ones I'll reach for more on a daily basis compared to the other ones. So these are definitely my favorite. I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, and I think it's really refreshing to see that sort of more, I don't know, toned down sort of natural, but beautiful lip um, that sort of enhances what you've got rather than covering it completely. So even though I do like covering it completely sometimes, uh, I think these are really, really fun. So these are the standout in my opinion. All right, guys. So that is my lip swatch video of the Kaleidos lip range. So let me know what you think about them, what your favorite was, if you've tried any, what your thoughts are, what piques your interest the most. Um, but yeah, thank you so much to Kaleidos for sending me these. And if you do want to check them out, I'll link their website down below um, where you can pick these up either... Um, individually or in bundles as well, which is kind of cool. So, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.